Hokey dokey. Today we're going to be covering every material location in Forever Skies, including plants, and some farming methods for some of the particularly more annoying ones to gather. We'll go in order of game progression though. At all radio towers you can find electric elements, plastic scrap, synthetic fuel, condenser membranes, machine parts, and then specific to small town variants you can find basic pattern cartridges. Note that everything I just said can be crafted, but if you do want to farm out specific materials these are the locations you can go. The machine parts earlier mentioned can also be found at wind farms, along with circuit boards, which are only found inside computers, inside structures, copper, which is inside the actual turbines, not necessarily just attached to the general platform structure. So if you ever want copper specifically, be sure to check around, look for turbines sticking out into the air, because there will still be a good chunk more of copper there. Helium will only ever be found on the structured platform along with associated rooms, and then helium fuel can be found in there as well. And then if we look at greenhouse towers, we can get biomass and biomass fuel, epoxy, plant oil, and polymer. Plant oil is going to be in the oil drums. It's going to look like dirty water, and it actually had me fooled for the longest time, but it is plant oil. Bring a jug. Biomass can also be found in the underdust and overgrown radio tower variant, but it's just not nearly as efficient to try and farm it there, so only go to greenhouse towers if you want biomass. Note that polymer can not only be found at a greenhouse, but the plant oil you get from the greenhouse can also be used to craft further polymer, so it's just a very nice place if you need to farm out polymer. If we do go down and look into the underdust though, you'll find even more polymer, and you'll also find energy crystals and crystal battery variants. You also have a chance to find transformers, which are kind of rare. This is also the only place in the game they will ever drop. You can find mantis glands, but that is only after you have completed your first underdust, and then you can find empty bottles and plant resin down in the tunnels. There will always be empty bottles down there for you to collect the plant resin with, but I do recommend just bringing one large bottle to collect it all with, so that way you don't have to stock up on like five bottles. Before we move on to plants, let's talk about the extremely annoying things to farm, starting with glass. Glass can be found anywhere there is an actual room slash structure. However, it sucks because every time you pick it up, it only counts for two, even if it's a gigantic pane of glass you still only get two. By far and away, the best method to get glass right now is to turn on automatic deck extractors while positioned right next to a greenhouse. However, as you would figure, this doesn't last that long and you don't really get all that much glass in the process, although it's more than you'd get anywhere else. But <laughs> this is where we go into save scumming, sort of. Some of you might not like me for this and my response is have fun picking up glass two at a time then because fuck that. If you exit the game, not necessarily to desktop, but if you just go to the menu and you reload your game. Some of you have probably already tried to do this in terms of regular drops. You're not gonna respawn the regular drops, but you will spawn structured materials, which means all the glass all around the greenhouse will respawn as soon as you reload into your game. This is an insanely effective glass farm. Greenhouses also provide you with metals, uh, since there's a fair bit of metal around all the structures as well. So if you want to metal and glass farm at the same time, I advise humping greenhouses and save scumming. In the future, they did say that they're going to be adding filters to your automatic deck extractor so you can tell it to only target specific things. And when that happens, it's going to be far more convenient to just fly over to a new greenhouse, specifically target glass, collect it, and fly to a new one after that. Save scumming is going to be considerably less viable once filters are added in game. But until that point, save scumming is the way to go. Synthetics, you can technically do this with as well, but synthetics are also accounting for 80% of metal flying through the air. So as long as you have an automatic deck extractor, you really never have to worry about synthetics. In addition to metal and glass respawning at the greenhouse, plants won't respawn, but Grass will, meaning if you do want to farm out a whole shit ton of biomass, that's something you can do as well if you're into hacking at the ground with a knife for 30 years. Solid state batteries won't reload with scave scumming, but it is uh, something to mention because they appear in every single tower location above the dust. This includes under dust towers, by the way. They're just so high up it's impractical to reach them. Another thing that spawns universally are repair patches, although only above the dust. And then that's it for general non-plant materials. If we do go look at plants though, specific to greenhouse towers, we can find coffee nuts, lolling grass crickets, and petite aster. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Forgive me if it's not. The petite flower is really fucking rare, but I promise you they do exist. It's actually been acknowledged by the devs that there is a bug with its drop rate, but you will find these in greenhouses. And then not unique to greenhouse towers, but also included in the overgrown radio flower beds, you can find bruise flowers, canola multidoit flower, ink bulbs, patats, and then in addition to greenhouse towers and overgrown radio towers, you can also find these two at small town radio variants, the lobster chili and sun melon. Shared only with the underdust, 
Underdust along with the Greenhouse Tower is the Green Colander. And then unique to the Underdust itself is the Breath Nut, the only time when busting a nut in one's mouth is okay, the Dust Daisy, and the Meteor Bean. And then that's it for materials. There are technically other materials like the Motherboard, but that can only be crafted and cannot be found. But to the inevitable person that says, where do I get a Motherboard? Go craft it. <laughs>